I'm excited here to have a quick discussion with Mafalda Duarte, head of the Climate Investment Funds. So Mafalda, for, could you explain to people who may not, not, not know what the Climate Investment Funds do, and just give some examples of projects that you currently work on? So the, I'm very honored to be here. Thank you for the invitation, and I'm also very honored to have been having the opportunity of uh, heading the Climate Investment Funds. Um, we, what we've been doing over the past um, almost 10 years is do what others weren't doing um, and basically providing um, finance, the type of finance um, at scale that is needed in developing countries um, and the right of technical support that is also needed um, by working with five multilateral development banks that uh, have a solid track record of doing development work in, in developing countries. Another very good example that is widely known uh, in the media as well because it also attracted Leonardo DiCaprio once when he was uh, flying over uh, Morocco. Uh, he saw the concentrated solar power project um, in Morocco uh, and we've um, been very keen on supporting the government um, and uh, um, the, the private sector entity that are, that, that are involved uh, in that uh, project. Um, I mean, there's another interesting example uh, of a, a country that had a strong leadership, that a leadership that had vision, that had commitment, that put the, the policies, um, set the targets, put the policies in place, brought in the finance that uh, was required and is sustaining that commitment um, over time. So we've been uh, providing substantial amount of resources to Morocco um, to help them accomplish that vision. Um, the projects, uh, the first phase is up and running. Yeah. It's supposed to go to two gigawatts. It's now uh, in the phases of putting up up to 500 megawatts. With that, powering 1.1 million households. Uh, um, in Morocco, and of course, you know, contributing to so local social economic, uh, socioeconomic development, um, and while helping us tackle the global climate change. So, to follow up on that, I mean, what is the scale of challenge to climate action now? I mean, how big are the needs that you're seeing? Look, I, I, I'm going to probably approach this question from a different perspective and normally what you hear people say is okay it's billions it's trillions and you hear a lot of people talk about you know how many billions will be needed and you have different estimates different reports providing different estimates and you have you know people talking about sustainable infrastructure and what are the numbers that are needed there I think it's important that people start to to realize as well that yes the numbers are good proxies of what needs to be done but I think people need to start focusing quite a bit on the fact that we need significant changes in policies. And significant changes in policies don't occur quickly. Um, and so we need to support the governments to have that clarity and understanding. And we need to continue to raise awareness through these Facebook lives and all of the other means of communication so that people really get engaged and help those policy processes as well. So then what is needed from leaders to achieve you know, the ambitions of the Paris Agreement and to help these countries get there? Um, and this is a very pertinent question. I mean, it might look like abstract to a lot of people because we keep talking about leadership and leadership and leadership. And by the way, leadership is required from all of us um, um, in, in this context. So we, we clearly need leaders to have conviction to be convinced and have conviction that this is a significant challenge and that we have to act on it fast and we have to act on it at scale. Uh, we keep talking about this as well, um, but you know, the, the issue of speed is, is critical because of what I was saying before. You know, it, it takes time to get these policies and the buy-in to these policies. We need their sustained commitment. We can't we are not going to make the transitions that we need to make if the commitment is there one year or for two years and then it changes. We need sustained commitment. Um, and, and that's what also gives the confidence to the private sector investors to come in and invest uh, um, in these type of, of, of technologies and markets. 
but you know we need a bigger movement and we need a higher level of of commitment and leadership than what we are seeing right now. Well, thank you so much. I think we're out of time now. We just heard live uh, at the Innovate for Climate Finance and Markets Week with Mafal Dajwart, head of Climate Investment Funds, speaking about you know commitment from the global community to get that transformation and challenges you know right now to climate action. So thank you so much to, for speaking with us and uh, stay tuned for more interviews on Facebook.com/slash Connect for Climate. Thank you. Thank you. Mary.